We have here is the Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw, four inch portable cordless electric chainsaw. Satisfaction guaranteed. Rechargeable electric chainsaw, lightweight and portable, easy to carry, strong dynamic system. And it comes with all the tools you need to adjust the chain as well as a little bit of bar oil charger and one battery. So let's get this thing plugged in and charge it up. So your charger plugs into a standard 110 outlet. And when you plug it in, you'll notice a green LED comes on. And then on the top of your battery, there's the AC adapter plug. So you plug the other end of your charger right into the top of the battery. And then your LED on the charger turns red. So once it's charged, I reckon it'll turn green again. All right, so the unit itself, it is geared toward a right-handed person. It's got this safety button. You have to push that button in order to engage the trigger to start the saw. And it's not on this side. So if you tried to use it left-handed, you would have to use your pointer finger to push the button and then your middle finger to pull the trigger a little bit awkward. Well, actually, you know what? You can kind of use the side of your finger to push the button in and still use the handle. So you can use it left-handed or right-handed, but I would say it's more geared toward right-handed. It has this little safety cover over the top of it that moves out of the way as you're coming through whatever you're cutting. This will just move freely out of the way. And it does have a lanyard that can go around your wrist. So if, if you drop it, it's not gonna fall to the ground. That's pretty nice. It's got this guard to protect your fingers. If you accidentally hit into a tree or something, it's not gonna hit your hands. Overall, I like the feel of it. It seems to be a well-designed tool but the proof will be in the pudding. So once that battery gets charged up, then we'll be able to see what this baby can do. It's the next day, so I'm not sure how long it took, but you can see now we've got a green light. So our battery is charged and ready to use our little chain. Just like all batteries, for the most part, it just slides into place and clips in. And now we should have a working chainsaw. I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil to the saw blade, and then we're gonna give this thing a test. So down here, when I first came to this property, I made a little uh, fence out of some small trees that I cut down and whatnot. And since then, some actual small trees have grown up around them. So I'm gonna pollard those trees, which is just to cut the tops off. Let's see how this little saw works. So here's this little fence I was talking about and it's just one section. I didn't do a lot to it. So we'll take and give this a try. Worked pretty good on that one. And need an extra hand here let me set this saw down and then the vines are posing a big problem as far as getting this out of here but the saw did a good job chopping the tree let's see we can cut some of these vines a little difficult to try and film this and be the one using the saw and keep it all in screen. This one's wanting to push back on the other. Let's That's a pretty good sized piece of tree. All right. Oh, now I'm all twisted up in vine and 
the top of these trees. So I've got them cut down and just need to work a little bit more and uh, get these pieces out of here and then that'll let some more sunlight come through to my garden. So thanks, Saker, for sending me this little chainsaw to test out. I appreciate it and I think it works pretty good. So guys, the link in the description will take you to getting one of these little chainsaws for yourself if you're interested. So I got a piece of vine stuck in here, which is stopping it from being able to go. So I just got to get a pair of pliers to be able to grab a hold of this and pull it out. I'm gonna try to get my leg up here so I can do this one-handed. There you go. So now that's clear. So it works again. So cool little product. So I've used it for a couple of cuts now and the chain is a little loose from stretch. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust it. So again, everything is included with it. So we're gonna loosen this nut. And then let's see, this is just, uh, okay. And then on the front here is a Phillips screw. So that screw there in the front, you screw that clockwise and it tightens the chain on the bar and then tighten that nut back down and you're good to go. So my final thoughts on the little Saker mini chainsaw is, I like it. I think it's a, uh, good little saw works well I took down a decent size little tree there with it just to see how it handles some bigger stuff compared to what I did the other day and uh, yeah I really think it works well I'm happy to add it to my tool collection it'll stay in my truck and just another piece of equipment that I have at my disposal to help make life a little easier so thanks for watching like comment subscribe link in the description if you want one